everyone, welcome back to Team Titan. My name is Jasmine and today I will be doing a dollar a question, terrible questions edition. So I'll be given six minutes to answer as many questions as I can and for every terrible question that I successfully answer, I will be given a grand total of one dollar. But if I decide to skip a question, I will be deducted five dollars from my total pool amount. However, we all know that I'm not about to lose five dollars for being a wimp, so let's get this bread, shall we? Worst lie you've ever told to a significant other? You are the biggest I've ever seen. What's one secret only you know? One of my friends... No, no, this is very tough. Like. Bonk, bonk. It's not... It's PG, la, right? Family friendly, right? Uh, but yeah, I answered though. Who's your least favourite person in Titan? It used to be Ridwan. Now it's Sherilyn. Gain 10kg or lose 10k followers? Lose 10... No. Gain 10kg. No. Lose 10k followers. Would you rather freeze to death or burn to death? I think I would rather freeze to death because you actually fall asleep before you die. What's the most controversial thing you've ever said online that nearly got you cancelled? Uh, I don't think I've said anything controversial honestly because I think my EQ is quite high to like know what I should say and what I shouldn't so... Bless my brains! When did you hurt someone the most? I feel like honestly, in my entire life, I'm usually the one getting hurt by others. Like especially when it comes to romantic relationships. But if I really have to pinpoint, I would say maybe when I fight with my family, I have said some things that I really don't mean. And now when I look back, I really do feel guilty for them. For instance, why do you give birth to me? I don't like being your daughter. Would you rather wear wet socks or wet underwear? Oh, that's tough. But I think I would rather go with wet socks because wet underwear, after a while, it'll cause like friction burn. Have you ever had a moment where you regretted joining Titan? No, actually, because I feel like ever since I joined Titan, a lot of networks and opportunities have come my way. So it's something that I'm really very grateful for. Would you rather have a head the size of a tennis ball or the size of a watermelon? I think I'd rather have a head the size of a watermelon. Yeah, I've got a lot of makeup, but at least I can finish using them. Have you ever had anything done to your face? Yes, I have. I had done my nose in Korea uh, two years ago. How about your body? Have I done anything to my body? I wish I had the money, but unfortunately, I have not done anything to my body. What's one thing you want to say to your ex? To my ex, um, your loss. What's the worst thing someone has said to you online? Right now, I think it's when people say that I'm trying to imitate Denise because we are both tuition teachers who teach math. So I really hate it because I know I play a dumb character online, but I'm pretty damn smart in person, okay? What do you think the people in Titan really think about you? I think a lot of times the newer people who come in will think that I'm intimidating and I look fierce and scary. But uh, I think the people who have been around for a long time would know me as someone who is loyal. What happened during your last breakup? He cheated on me and the girl DM'd me. This is something I've never shared any Anywhere on my platform before, so if you're watching this video and you finally found out the truth, good for you. Who are you the most awkward with in the whole company? In the whole company, I think the most awkward with is probably Tian Hao. I know it's so funny because he's the first person I knew here and I should be the closest to him, but Tian Hao is actually a very quiet person and he barely speaks, so especially when you're sitting with him one to one in a room, it can be quite Awkward. Which colour do you regret dyeing your hair? Oh, definitely like this like light pink, neon pink thing. I don't know what I was thinking but I actually dyed my hair like bright pink. It was so bad. Who's the worst actor in Titan? I don't know about actor but I think the worst actress would be... Juhi? Have you ever lied online just to gain something? Lied online? No. I feel like in fact I put too much truth online. Have you ever practiced kissing with an object? Yes, I think everyone has at one point of time. Uh, I did it when I was like maybe in primary school before I ever had my first kiss. I kissed the mirror. Do you think nice guys finish last? Uh, I think it's very subjective because what I think is a nice guy may not be a nice guy to someone else. But anyway, at least for me, I prefer nice guys. Personality over looks. That's why all my ex-boyfriends are pretty ugly. Can you show us the most unflattering photo of you? Sure, I'll, I'll show you guys. Here. Have you ever been caught by the police? Yes, I have. I actually got caught once when I was 16 for being in the same toilet as a guy. 
Do you sing in the shower? I think everyone does, but do I sing well? That's a different question. What's a bad habit you have? So I actually crack my knuckles a lot until they are pretty swollen and I have pretty big knuckles because of that very reason. Who is your favourite, mum or dad? I was closer to my mum when I was young, but right now uh, I'm definitely closer to my dad and I feel like I can talk to him about everything and anything. How would you rate your looks on a scale of 1 to 10? It depends. If I'm wearing makeup, I think I'm pretty hot and I would rate myself a 7 out of no, maybe a 7.5, but without makeup, I think I'm a solid 5. What's your most embarrassing moment in public? It would be when I actually menstruated on myself and I didn't realise and I actually strutted the whole Orchard Road thinking that I was some hot girl, but actually I had this giant weight stain on my back. Name someone in Titan you would get together with. If we were both single, I think... Trev is a pretty good catch, so lucky Sam. You have to kick one cast member out of class T1, T5, who would it be? If I had to kick one cast member out of T1, T5, Charlene. If someone were to offer you $1 million to break up with your girlfriend or boyfriend, would you do it? You were giving me the money and asking me to break up with my ex-boyfriend if, say, we were still together. Without me knowing that he cheated, I think I wouldn't have taken it because I actually thought he was the one of my life and that I was going to marry him. But now that I know that he cheated, I'll take it any day. What's the worst thing you've done to a friend without them knowing? Sharing their secrets with my significant other, which they actually told me not to. But I mean, I think everyone does this, right? I'm guilty, but am I really that guilty? Has anyone ever walked in on you when you're going number two in the bathroom? Is number two pooping? My ex-boyfriend and I were pretty close, so we'll walk into each other in the toilet like all the time. Can you show us your browsing history? My browsing history? Sure, it's over here. How would you dispense of a dead body if you have one hour to do so? Never ever throw it into a river. I think the best way would be to set it on fire in the forest. Have you ever borrowed something and just haven't returned it yet? Yes, a lot of my friend's clothes. Like Debbie, a lot of her clothes actually. Have you ever had beef with someone in Titan? We do have our arguments, but some beef with people are longer than others, I would say. Who is the most attention-seeking person in Titan? The most attention-seeking person in Titan is Ridwan, hands down. You all agree with me, right? What's the last thing you've searched for on your phone? I think it will probably be like my AJs and where to get them because I've been on the lookout for AJs for a while now. Name one ex you'll get back together with. Marcus. Who do you think is the worst dressed person in the room? In the room? Echo. If you have to drop Buncha or Stali on the ground, who would you choose? I'll drop Buncha because dogs are more likely to land on their legs rather than a toddler. Alright, so producers, how much did I earn? You have answered 44 questions. 44 questions, baby! That means that I earned 44 extra dollars today. Thank you very much for having me. Previously, when I did a dollar a question, I remember after I got the money, I went to buy bubble tea just opposite our office. But today, I feel like having a good steak for dinner. So maybe I'll do just that, you know, treat myself. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this episode of A Dollar Question, Terrible Questions Edition. I had a lot of fun, so don't forget to let us know in the comment section down below who you'd like to see next. And in the meantime, don't forget to click here to subscribe, click here to watch our latest video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!